Okay, I've just come from the Jack in the Green. Saw the link roads, the no link road sign uh, on the hill. Thank you, Coombe Haven Defenders. Brilliant job getting the story known. Uh, here we are down at the manor house um, at Crowhurst. Uh, overlooks the battlefield. Uh, and the key bit of information that's been missing from the story so far uh, in the Chronicles is the fact that the manor house, we've always assumed it was 13th century because of that window up there, which is clearly a 13th century window. Um, but if you look in the foundations, you see that it's got Norman arches. Now, where the story really um, hits home is that we all know that William ordered an abbey to be built on the battlefield. Um, uh, and the assumption has always been that the uh, battlefield was at, at the traditional site at Battle Abbey because that's where the abbey was. Uh, and so because he'd made the oath, um, it had to be at Battle Abbey. But when you dig deep into the documents and you go into the Chronicle of Battle Abbey, you find the story is very different. It tells the story of how uh, the monks started to build the abbey low down on the west side of the ridge, which is exactly where we are now, at a place called Hurst. Now, Hurst in those days was pronounced Kurst by the locals, um, who never, never pronounced the crow, uh, and to a foreign ear it just sounded like Hurst. So, when I found this abbey here on this fairly large, extensive earthworks, or oh, sorry, rather, the foundations of, a, of what could be an abbey on this very large extensive earthworks, then I realised two and two together. Uh, we've got probably the best indication that the battle took place here because William made the oath. This place was originally found by a guy called Wolford in the Victorian age and he decided that it must be 13th century because of that window um, and he just looked at what was here and he could just see a wall over there, a wall here, um, and a very unaccountable um, situation because there was no record of anything ever happening in Crowhurst. Um, and so he assumed that the manor house, this was the manor house. He wrote it up as the manor house and nobody had really disagreed with it because it was quite small in the, it was, didn't look like an ecclesiastical building. Um, but there were some things that should have sounded the alarm bell, like the uh, buttresses that you could see. Um, and, and the, clearly the indication that there's some sort of undercroft here. Um, so he wrote it up as 13th century manor house and hypothesised that because this was stone here and he couldn't see anything there, that it must have been a wooden hall, a big wooden hall attached to it. Absolutely no evidence of that whatsoever. We looked at the survey and we found that the walls didn't end where they were supposed, on the plans, Walford's plans ended, but they went another... 20 meters that way um, and then you look at the ground from uh, Google and you look at the air which we're going to look at very shortly and you see that the extent of the building is from the path which is 30 or 40 meters that way to 40 meters that way and you're starting to talk about a very seriously big building when you add that to the element of the that you know from the Chronicle of Battle Abbey well, it's two and two makes four. We're looking at something that's been built on the foundations of the original abbey. Um, and of course, it fits all the chronicle story. The fact that William made his oath, he said, I'm going to build a, uh, an abbey on the battlefield, and here it is. Now, the thing is, critics, my critics, and I have plenty, uh, will say to me, yes, Nick, but you're, you don't look at all the evidence. You only pick and choose the things that, that suit you. Well, this is a very prime example of where Battle Abbey cannot stand as the site of the Battle of Hastings if you pick and choose, because you have to ignore the, the Chronicle of Battle Abbey if you're going to accept that it's the true site of the Battle of Hastings, because the Chronicle of Battle Abbey tells us it was built low down on the west side of the ridge at a place called Hurst. And here we have a building that looks like it has 80 to 100 meters of foundations and here is the original site of the Battle of Hastings. Over here behind me is the uh, is the abbey or what we believe is the abbey um, 
but in the distance you can see the church and the um, the, the church was built on an enclosure, a place where men met from uh, the ancient days uh, and, and so we believe this could well have been the site where um, William um, and Harold met for the first time uh, and we have plenty of examples of uh, written text telling us that they met on a plain, uh, level ground at the beginning of the sequence. And of course, right over here, we have a, a stunning view of the level ground right next to the earthworks on which we're standing. Here we are next to the uh, Crowhurst U, next to the church, and next to the low stone wall. And the, the reason this tree is important is because we know that it's 2,000 years old. That means that it was definitely here at the time of the invasion. So if Harold knew this manor and William came here, they both knew this tree, something that they could both touch, and it was 1,000 years old when they were here. Um, on the Bayer Tapestry, we have a picture of Harold sitting on a horse, pointing uh, to where he first sees the, the Normans. Uh, and it's recorded that, that that's what happened. If you look carefully at the tree, you'll see that it's got stones in the branches, squares, bricks. And the reason is because the Normans were telling us that this was next to a low stone wall. A very stone, stone walls are very rare in those days because before the Normans came, they didn't use stone. Um, they, uh, the, the issue then is, if you compare these, the, the evidence in the biotapestry with what the chroniclers say, um, you, you see that the first events that happen in the battle are where they gather next to the plain, and, and you just have to push through those trees there. And you can see this tremendous plain right next to the site where the manor house is, the site where the abbey is. So it sort of all fits together, everything fits.